Okay, welcome back to another tutorial. And now that you watched the intro of the Unity series, uh, let's begin our FPS tutorial. So you'll need to download all the resource files from the Unity website itself. Uh, you're going to download uh, FPS underscore tutorial dot zip. It has all the files you need. It's 70 MB. And also you can download the tutor sorry, tutorial documents, uh, which contains more information on the codes that you're going to be using on the scripts. But I'm not going to be teaching coding because I'm not really used to it. I'm just going to show you how to make the game with uh, ready-made scripts. So uh, you're going to download this package and uh, in the meantime open up Unity 3D and you're going to open up this island demo that you get uh, with Unity 3D. It's pre-made, it really looks nice, amazing graphics by the way. And you can even test it out uh, by clicking the play button over here. Okay, forget that. Let's uh, begin. So make sure this island demo level is open. You're going to go to file click new scene instead. If you click new project all the files in this project view over here will be erased. We could use all of these uh, all of these files which are really useful to make our game. So make sure you click new scene. And uh, oh yeah once you download once you finish downloading your zip files you're gonna extract it and you're gonna get these two folders as assets and library. Open up assets drag all these files in there into the project view which is right over here and it should take a while for importing but and once it's done you get all these files so let's start making a game now you have a pre-made level already made for you you go to objects right over here uh, main level mesh click on the main level mesh and scale factor should be set to 1 you have to click apply which is at the bottom drag this in there into the scene view and there you go, your level is there. By the way, if you want to see the game uh, testing section and the scene preview, click on Window, Layouts, 2 by 3 So I don't need this because if you want to make your own level, what are you going to do? Terrain, Creator. Easy as that. Now this is really huge, so we want to make this smaller. Terrain, set resolution, uh, by 12, it'll do and set resolution. So now it should be a little smaller, small enough. Now it's pretty much dark in here so we're gonna add some light to this place. So game object, create other, uh, point light, that should be right at the center. So we're gonna just move this up a bit and over here at the preferences uh, the range, you had to increase this until the uh, range sort of like intersects with the terrain. So let's increase this. There, we're starting to see some light. Let's increase the intensity a bit, not too much. Uh, okay, that should do. Don't need such a big one. And finally, we're gonna add our player which has ready-made scripts built in it. So, uh, yeah, let's go to standard assets, prefabs, first-person controller. Now this is our ready-made player. Now a prefab is like ready-made files so that you don't have to do them all over again. Uh, so he, this is basically a cylinder with some controls to it, like a first-person player. So let's just drag this in there. Now the game view should suddenly change. Okay, let's drag this up a little bit down because Okay, let's put them up to there. Let's test it. And now you can eas uh, easily look around the boring level you already made. But still, you already have your player ready without doing any scripting at all, and you made your first level. Okay, so let's uh, improve this place a bit more by changing the texture of the land to sort of grass. So, terrain. Uh, sorry, click terrain over here in the hierarchy view. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Uh, click that and then you go to the uh, paint the terrain texture or click this button over here. Uh, edit textures, add texture and in the splat section variable click that drop down arrow 
and you're going to click on grass hill which is the texture for the grassland add now it should change to this now your game looks much better and in the next tool I'll show you how to add the sky bots which are the skies but anyways let's improve our land a bit more so we're going to click our player which is the first person controller and click F in the scene view to focus on it. Okay. Now we need to add some mountains to this. How do we do it? Very easy. Click the terrain. Uh, click this uh, button, the first button over there. Uh, change the brush size if you want. Uh, brush size, I'll put it up to there. As you can see, opacity is the strength. Let's raise it up. As you can see, we're already creating mountains very easily okay let's test this okay I'm falling down and there we go we already made some pre-made mountains note this is slow if you're looking at from the video because uh, uh, it takes up a little RAM. now note here's the problem if your mountains are too steep even this steep uh, you will have to hold the space bar which is jump in order to get there uh, otherwise you you're just gonna get stuck over there so that's a little problem so make sure your hills are like less steep going up okay so now we have added some mountains let's add some trees for a better detail we're gonna click on the trees button edit trees add tree uh, then the tree variable click that drop down arrow here you're gonna list off prefabs or objects uh, you're gonna find one that makes sense that sounds like a tree like uh, this one thin tree so obviously that must be a tree click that add there you go you can select the tree brush size I'm just gonna make it small tree density is how many trees will be close together tree height how tall the trees are I'm gonna make them a little big let's add one there we go we have already added a tree so let's add a couple of trees you know, just to make this more nicer. Let's test it. And there we go. Our game is starting to look better already without still using any scripts. Ain't that amazing? And finally, let's add some grass just to make this even more better. Uh, you're gonna click this button over here. Grass size as usual. Edit details, add grass uh, texture detail texture I'm gonna click that uh, click the fern bush or the grass texture I'm gonna select the grass texture uh, add and you might want to zoom in cuz uh, look uh, let me show you pass again just gonna reduce it so you already have too much of grass so I'm just gonna reduce it target strength or reduce yeah I don't want so much of grass on my computer would be slow this reduces. There we go. That's good enough. Okay. So here, uh, the color. You can change the color even. Edit details. Edit. Healthy color. We're just going to change that to a little bit less uh, green. As you can see, changes with it. Let's test it one more time. And there we go. And uh, if you just look closely at the grass, it moves according to the wind speed. And there you go. You already made your first nice looking game and just one last thing you don't need this main camera anymore right well if you want to make a third person shooter uh... what i said okay this is a first person shooter so i'm not gonna ruin it but anyways if you're making first person shooter you can delete this main camera from the hierarchy view just delete it because you already have a main camera as a child object of the first person shooter so there you go you're done although the character looks too high you can just adjust him to go a little more down but anyways altogether we're done with the first part and next I'll show you how to add a skybox and add a machine gun to it awesome so can't wait for that subscribe to uh, watch more and have a great day